Israel against Ethiopia, round one of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm your Grandmaster and today we will be watching the match between Israel and Ethiopia in the first round of the Olympiad. For the Israelis, my good friend, Grandmaster Maxim Rochten, the team's board number one is taking a rest. As a result, we are seeing for the first time in the Israeli national team, the reigning Israeli champion, Grandmaster Ido Gorstein, following him, the Lion, Grandmaster Tamir Nabati. On board number three, we have Grandmaster Ilya Smirin. And on the last board, Grandmaster Evgeny Posny. Let's watch the games of this first match of the team and wish them, and of course, the women's team, lots of success at 2024 Chess Olympiad in Hungary. So, oh, first board, Ido Gorsten against Masfin Leikun, Fidemaster from Ethiopia. Let's see this game because this is our, you know, incredible game to watch in this round. D4, Knight F6, C4, G6, and now Knight C3, Bishop G7, E4, D6, H3. This is the King's Indian defense and Ido Gorstein is taking a risk with a3 as I know this is very active variation with white pieces so it's great to see Ido is playing such an, an interesting opening variation. Let's see castle and bishop to e3. So the point that after h3 black cannot play the move knight g4 of course and now bishop e3 is very good move c5 was played ido is playing the move d5 very fast and a6 with the black pieces was played so overall you can see here that you know ido has one hour and 32 minutes and his opponent already has one hour and two minutes i am not sure that you can see because the clock is not here but I'm telling you, this was the time clock in the situation. So a6 was played and now Ido playing the move a4. The point here that after knight f3, for example, I think b5, c takes b5, a takes b5, and after bishop takes b5, knight takes e4. This was the idea of the Fidemaster from Ethiopia. After knight takes e4, queen a5 check. And as you can see, the bishop is under attack. After knight c3, bishop takes, b takes, and queen takes b5. And in this position, white is just very bad position because the queen is here very strong, white cannot castle, and yeah, it seems like very good position for black. So, of course, after a6, Ido is playing a prophylactic move, a4. a5, very, very, you know, strange move because now the b5 square is very weak for black and also, of course, the b4 square is weak for white. But, I don't know, it seems like very good position. Let's see how Ido controlling the center. Knight to f3, develop a piece. Knight a6, bishop e2, just develop pieces and wants to castle, knight b4 and queen to d2. It seems that Ido is very flexible. Maybe he will like to play long castle with g4, g5, h5, I don't know, something like this. But maybe not, maybe just castling short one. So let's see, bishop d7 and now just short castle. Very, very, uh, you know, interesting and very easy to play. And now just playing the move rook a d1. I'm not sure about rook a d1. I don't feel like he should have played like this, but I don't know. Rook a e1, for, for my point of view, is better move. Just knight h2, f4, e5. But okay, rook a d1 also makes a lot of sense. Bringing the, the last piece into the game. Knight e8 and now bishop to h6. It seems that Ido is telling us, okay, this bishop is very strong, I really want to exchange it, and this is what he's doing. So f6 was played, b3, another very calm move. I like how Ido is playing chess, you know, he's very confident, every move is a quiet move, you know, he has time, he don't hurry anywhere. You know, in chess, 
when you're feeling like Ido Gorsten in this game, 400 rating above his opponent. And you know, he's very calm. You don't need to show that, okay, I will win in, a, in an hour or in two hours. It's not matter, right? You just need to improve your pieces, play good moves, and that's it. And Ido is doing it great. B3, very calm move. Rook f7 was played, bishop takes g7, and now knight to h2. Very makes sense. f4, e5. It, it seems like the space advantage here for white is just amazing. Queen f8, and now I'm not sure why he didn't play the move f4. For my opinion, is very, very, you know, like, uh, interesting move to play. Maybe e5, but I, I don't know, maybe d takes, knight takes. Maybe this one, you know, this was the, um, you know, the idea behind the move bishop to g4. Uh, because he didn't like, obviously, the move e5 here. And after d takes e6, knight takes e6. Queen d6, for example, just queen takes, or maybe knight d4 immediately, yeah. And these two, two knights are doing just brilliant uh, work here. The pawn on b3 is weak, so maybe after f4, e5, and Ido didn't like this. Um, I think I, I can understand him, yeah. So bishop g4, and Ido just saying, you know what, play f5, I will go back, and after it, f4, e5, right? So queen c8 was played, f4 now, and now, for example, after e5, it's really bad because I think overall just take on e5, d takes, d takes here, queen takes knight g4, here, here, yeah, bad position, of course. So f4 was played, f5, and now bishop e2 going back, f takes e4, knight takes e4, knight f5, just knight f3, of course, this is a very important move, is understanding that the knight on f5 wants to bring him to d4, and just knight f3, you know, another very good prophylactic move by Ido, and the next move is just g4, bringing his knight, go away, go away, I don't like to see you, knight h6, and just knight fg5, rook g7, king h2, another very calm move by Ido, in this position, I think also, for example, rook f2, rook df1, or maybe something about knight e6 immediately, for my opinion, oh, maybe, maybe knight f5, yeah, maybe knight f5, this was the, uh, the idea, because now take, take, yeah, and the knight is gone, after knight g5, h6, so, King h2, another very good prophylactic move, because knight f5 there, right? So just amazing, knight f7, knight e6, yeah, uh, this is a fork, of course, so bishop must take on e6, d takes, knight d8, f5, and wow, what can we say about this fantastic start for Grandmaster Ido Gorsten with white pieces? g takes f5, g takes f5, knight c6, and just f6, is going forward and everything is going well, queen takes d6, as you can see the position is just lost, and now e7 takes and rook f8, and white is won, won the game of course, and first game in the Israeli national team for Grandmaster Ido Gorshten, and he's doing it Perfect, just perfect. Congratulations, Ido, for amazing start. And let's see, you know, I believe that you can do everything correct uh, for the team. So let's jump very, very fast to the next uh, game. We have like Tamir Nabati with black pieces here. Let's eat very, very fast because, you know, our goal today was to see Ido Gorshten in his first time in Israeli national team, but let's see how Tamir is playing, just amazing, d takes e4, he's going for it, and b5 now, controlling the opponent c4, just wants to uh, play bishop b7, knight d7, c5, knight gf6, uh, everything is correct, b4 now, knight e2 was very, I don't know, knight b1 maybe, a better option, but I don't know, knight e2 also makes sense, let's see, knight c6 was played a5, and now, just b3, Tamir is, is telling us, you know what, I don't need to develop pieces for win this game, I'm just playing knight before knight c2 and taking this rook on a1, knight c3 was a mistake probably, bishop g5 uh, was a little bit clever, because bishop e7, just bishop takes, uh, probably knight g, e no, knight g, yeah, queen d2, just queen takes with knight b4, for example, I don't know, this also looks very terrible, I don't know, queen c1, knight b4, and maybe queen takes, knight c4, king d2, king d1, takes, takes, and take here, I don't know, or queen c6 maybe I have, 
Yeah, this one. <laughs> Much clever, right? So, I don't know. A5 was played. B3, knight, B4. Just taking the rook. Full rook and the king on E2. It seems like the Ethiopia player here was, I don't know, maybe... Um, more than excited in this game against Tamir Nabati, one of the best players in Israel, uh, in his history. Of course, after uh, Boris Gelfand and Maxim, I don't know, it's just fantastic player. So Bishop F4, just nice going back and yeah, just winning Rook up and that's it. Tamir Nabati is clever enough to win with Rook up, you know, uh, just brilliant player and he won very, very easy. Let's, you know, just uh, remove queens from the board, uh, remove another pieces, of course, and this position is just lost, uh, and the Ethiopia um, man just resigned here. That's it, Tamir Nabati with first win of this tournament. Let's see the third board of our team, Ilya Smirin, a very, you know, talented also, strong, and, you know, so many experience he has. He has in the, uh, you know, national team, let's see him is playing, e4, c5, he's going for this one, d4, knight takes d4, I'm doing it very fast, but you, for you, just to watch some games, a6, castle, this is the Sicilian, and knight is 7, bishop g5, Ilya is just a, you know, very active player, bishop b3, another very nice move, bishop h4, and now a4 was a mistake, I don't know, maybe f5, f4 with f5, just crashing here, I don't know, it looks very terrible for black, but a4 also makes sense, uh, rookie one, you know, just some developments, and now, yeah, it seems like everything is under control, uh, here maybe e takes d5 was a bit, a bit clever, bishop takes d4, d takes e6, yeah, looks, oh, maybe a5 I can play, a5, because after queen takes b4, rook a4 I have, yeah, so I don't know, knight c2 maybe, not sure, but also he takes d5, but also knight c2 looks really good for white. d takes e4, knight takes, rook d8, just queen h5, I don't know, about a5, also looks winning, rook takes d1, a takes b6. Yeah, looks just terrible, yeah? Knight takes, yeah, just winning knight c5, I don't know. Bishop takes here, rook takes here, bishop here, just knight c2. Yeah, looking promising, yeah, b7, yeah, that's it, but he played the move queen h5, also looks fine, knight d7, and now knight d6, knight takes f7, brilliant move by Chascom, great, and now rook e6, just amazing, and of course this position with exchange up is very, very easy for Ilya Smirin to put checkmate uh, almost in the board, right, after king e4, rook e6, bishop e5, and checkmate on the board, Ilya Smirin, taking his first win of this tournament in the national team. Let's see the last game it was very, very fast with the black pieces. Grandmaster Evgeny Posny, let's see him is playing. E4, E5, going for this position. You know, the last title Tuesday I had this particular position in the board and I played the move D6, but D5, this is the best and we learned it together in the title Tuesday and Evgeny is of course doing it. E takes D5, Knight takes D5, Bishop takes, just Queen takes, he has like now two bishops, very good position after castle, don't forget the Queen is under attack, Queen D7, strong move with B6, Bishop B7 and just going along castle and that's it the position is just lost this diagonal very strong h5 h4 h3 maybe and also you know this file just amazing for black rook h rook a1 f5 takes takes bishop g5 just queen c6 attacking this pawn on g2 with checkmate knight c1 uh, knight c1 of course sorry was a mistake blunder knight c4 that's it a double attack on the queen, on the bishop, and on g2. So yeah, queen e2, just bishop g5, takes rook d2, and queen g2, checkmate on the board, will be very fast after queen takes, rook takes, king h1, and just rook g4. This one, and this one, and Evgeny Posny won a game after queen g2, 4-0 for Israel against Ethiopia. You know, it was amazing to watch you guys Keep going, let's do it. If you like this stream, this video, smash that like button, subscribe my channel, and also don't forget to write in the comment what do you think about the Israeli national team. See you soon in the next video. Bye bye.